This program is sponsored by Oracle Software India and Aptek. Oracle, world's leading provider of information management solutions. This was my college. <laughs> right here, a friend of mine once said, soon there'd be phones without wires. I laughed at him. I always thought computers would be bulky. Now they're not. Times change, you know. Hey, have you read about it? Information superhighway. It seems it will help us in our studies. How nice! No college! It's supposed to help our careers. But will it ever come to India? Believe me, it already has. Join the Aptec Info Highway program and let the information superhighway change your life. Hi there. Welcome to another edition of Computers for You. Tell me, Vegeta, do you by any chance fall under the uh, income tax bracket? Now, why do you want to know that, Shumet? Oh, no, no, don't worry. I don't want to know how much you earn. I just wanted to know whether you've ever had the pleasure of filling up one of those tax returns and then spending hours going from one desk to another trying to find your file. Well, not as yet, Shumet, but the kind of picture you paint, I don't think I like to relish such an experience. Well, don't worry, because things are changing for the better because the income tax department is getting computerized in a big way. Which means that computers are going to save a lot of time of the income tax space and help officers locate files instantly. Absolutely. Windows presents how computers are helping the income tax department, firstly, to streamline their operation, and secondly, perhaps more importantly, to make the experience of filing your tax returns a far less taxing experience. The primary objective of the Income Tax Department coming up for computerization is to improve the procedures of tax administration. The prime objective behind the decision to computerize the working of the Income Tax Department is to modernize the procedures of the tax administration. The result of computerization is expected to cut down delays and time spent on a procedure leading to better service to the taxpayer. We, in the long term, we expect that this will raise the level of satisfaction on the services experienced by the taxpayers leading to better and uh, greater voluntary compliance. This in turn would result in higher revenue to the government. Expecting a quantum jump among taxpayers in the coming days, the Income Tax Department has begun to upgrade its system in three major metros. That our upgraded computerization program is, has been started for the three cities of Delhi, Bombay and Madras only. Based on the experience which we gain in these three cities, we'll be extending our operation to other parts of the country, where we have already a nucleus of system undertaking some preliminary work. At the moment, we are allotting new permanent account number uh, to the taxpayers in the three cities. The tax accounting system is under test implementation. The applications in the areas of assessment, maintenance of individual ledger account of taxpayers, uh, monitoring of tax deduction at source are expected to introduce within next few months' time. While the Income Tax Department is making full efforts to computerize its processes, what has been the response of taxpayers? The uh, response of taxpayers in uh, Bombay has been very good, while the same has not been at, uh, so in case of Delhi and Madras. People have not, uh, one is that uh, there has been less response from the taxpayer. Second, the quality of response has also not been very good. Like uh, what happens when we ask an individual to fill up the application form for PAN, it, the taxpayer is supposed to fill his, uh, individual is supposed to write his name in full with initials expanded. 
people have been writing initials. It's not uh, required. This, you know, for compa comparison purposes on the computer, you, know, so you need the name to be in the you know, expanded form. So another point was that people don't give that, some of some people are not giving date of birth or date of incorporation. No, any of these things which are missing, what happens? That it, our software throws it as deficiency. There's an in delay. The second part, which I would like to again stress, is that large number of taxpayers have not responded to our uh, request for uh, getting the permanent account number. So this is, these non-filers are holding up our modernization process. The Income Tax Department says that unless there is active cooperation from taxpayers to make use of the computerized process, it will be a slow growth towards total computerization. But what do taxpayers feel about this? Uh, all the taxpayers are submitting returns and those returns are processed in, the information is processed in various ways. That can be processed on computers at the back end, but that's not something that is likely to impact the user as clearly. For example, the checking of returns, the assessment and so on. Doing all of that, doing the calculations, uh, doing the tabulation, uh, analyzing data and so on, that can be done uh, at the back end and uh, without the user being very aware of it. Another area of use is where you, uh, user gets in contact with the income tax department. He has clarifications to provide or he needs service of some type. And it is possible if you computerize those areas to uh, sort of uh, uh, get that information and get the service very promptly and very correctly. The taxpayer has to fill up these forms, correct? If these forms are filled up correctly, then definitely there is going to be a good help to the income tax department and it will improve the computerized system of the income tax department. The assessee himself does not know that uh, how to fill up the forms. That help is given by the professionals, charter accountants or advocates who are in taxation line of practice. Granting permanent account numbers to taxpayers is a top priority area for the income tax department. Besides this, they have other plans as well. Uh, no, we, in, we, we had some smaller centers already functioning. Of course, at a much smaller scale. We are going to upgrade all those centers, which is uh, in the rest of the country. Uh, but we want to take up in a phased manner. And from the date we take, take up, it will take at least three years to stabilize those systems. The focus of income tax computerization is to make the process of filing the returns easier and the assessment process quicker. But to achieve this, the IT department needs the cooperation of the general public in filing the return forms accurately. This is Shravani Viswas in Delhi reporting for Computers for You. Whilst the income tax department is trying to make the lives of taxpayers easier by using computers, Pradeep Kar, based in Bangalore on the other hand, tries to make the lives of companies easier by making computers talk to each other. You mean by networking them? Quite right. Pradeep Kar heads Microland, one of the country's fastest growing networking companies. He recently received an award recognizing his entrepreneurial achievements. We will tell you more about the award, but after a short commercial break. Times have changed. Join the Aptek Info Highway program. College of Computer Sciences, setting international standards for advanced level studies, approved for B.Tech in Computer Science and Software Engineering. For details, contact Priyadarshini College of Computer Sciences, 273 Shahid Captain Gormarg, Shrinivaspur, New Delhi. Id Data Quest, the complete computer magazine every fortnight. Grab PC Quest. 
the personal computing magazine every month. And don't miss Voice and Data. Pradeep Kaur is the recipient of Young Business Achievers Award from Belfast-based Worldcom. No mean achievement for a man at the age of 38. What do you say, Shumit? Oh, I certainly agree. And plus, he leads a 100 crore plus company. Personal Canvas presents a profile on Pradeep Kaur, the young achiever. Becoming a recipient of the Young Business Achiever Award, which is given to selected entrepreneurs below 40, Pradeep Kaur created waves in the computer industry. What does this award mean to him? It means the recognition of the success of Microland. It means the recognition of the, all the hard work and the efforts put by my fellow colleagues in the company. It means a sense of satisfaction. It means a sense of responsibility. And it means a sense of expectations of others uh, um, that we have to work towards to fulfill. Microland, handled by Pradeep Khan, is one of the fastest growing companies in the computer industry. Single-minded focus has contributed to this high growth. A key element was single-minded focus. We identified networking as a key niche right back in 1989. And we decided that all that we, that we would do would only be networking, and that's all that we did. What business philosophy does Pradeep Kaur follow? Define a very clear mission of what we want to achieve. Having done that, try and get the best and the smartest people in the company, and then just ensure that you leave them alone to achieve the business goals. And that's what we have done consistently since 89. A very clear objective, a very good people who are responsible for achieving this objective, in an environment that gives them the opportunity to perform and uh, excel in what they do. Pradeep Kaur has set for Microland well-defined goals for the coming years. Okay. The goals that we have set for Microland is A, to be a dominant player in the networking and communication marketplace, B, to be one of the most admired computer companies in India, three, create an environment where people learn a lot and have some fun, and fourth, is uh, leverage the skill sets that we have to be a global player rather than an Indian player. And these are the four goals that we have set for ourselves. What is Pradeep Kaur's personal contribution to Microland's quick progress? I try and work around to ensure that the objectives, objectives that we have set together uh, we are working towards achieving that. Second, I try and ensure that there, that there are no bottlenecks in the system, which means if a person is responsible for a particular goal, any hindrance that he may encounter in his work environment, that's my responsibility to ensure that we remove it. And third, I try and ensure that uh, all of us are having some fun. While Pradeep Kaur has set few people at Microland with stiff business goals, he has set for himself specific personal goals as well. One of the goals that I set for myself is that as I spend most of my time in the work environment, I must ensure that in the years that I work, I contribute some element to society and build a name uh, for my work and for what I have done so that people henceforth remember who this person Pradeep was. The second personal goal was to create a home that not only provides security, but also is a place for friends and family to come in. Third was to be a part of the family that is dependable, that is available, that is reliable, to provide that element of the family bond that I need to create, that, uh, that I set for myself. And lastly, be able to provide to future generations and to my family an element of, of, of some assets like a home, like a house. Which people and what events have influenced Pradeep Kaur? 
It is difficult to say which people or which events, but the number of, uh, I guess, instances or people which have left some, some sort of a mark in my mind. What I try and do is try and look at very, very successful people, people who have achieved a lot in life. Try and read about them, see them, hear them. And each of the instances that I get to interact or read, it gives me an element of things that I need to look at. And it, you know, it starts from people as diverse as a super sportsman. How does he build his, his game to be a, pro to be a perfect uh, professional there? To an element of people who are highly successful, whether it's you know, John Scully, whether it's Bill Gates, or the likes of such people. What have they done to be where they are? How have they managed their time, their lives? And therefore, I read a lot of our autobiographies of various successful people. And these are things that have come to my mind at various points of time. When Pradeep Kaur networks companies, he has to use different communication technologies to connect computers in different locations. Oh yes, I remember in our very first episode, we had seen how National Stock Exchange uses Visa technology to connect its computers right across the country. You have a very good memory, Vijeta, and even better sense of timing. Because we're going to tell you all about VSATs which stands for Very Small Aperture Terminals, just after a very small commercial break. Oracle, world's leading provider of information management solutions. This was my college. <laughs> right here, a friend of mine once said, soon there'd be phones without wires. I laughed at him. I always thought computers would be bulky. Now they're not. Times change, you know. Hey, have you read about it? Information superhighway. It seems it will help us in our studies. How nice! No college! It's supposed to help our careers. But will it ever come to India? Believe me, it already has. Join the Aptec Info Highway program and let the information superhighway change your life. infrastructure to change with the times and exploit every business opportunity. The telecommunication summit and this is really bringing together of various IT trends and solutions for the uh, telecommunications industry. And the ob objective really is to give potential users and users could be what the service providers, could be the uh, basic services providers, the cellular pager operators and so on. Uh, an idea of the types of technology that is available and the types of solutions that are available based on Sun platforms. Yes, Oracle uh, provides, uh, you know, the uh, application layer and the database software. And Sun works very closely with Oracle. We, uh, we have very close relationships with them here in India. We have excellent relationships with them elsewhere in the world also, for example, in the US in, in our headquarters. And uh, a lot of these solutions are in fact based on Oracle. So you have the system, then you have the database, and then you have the application. So these three combined make the total solution. Aria computers have started a new website on the internet. The website is called Mumbai on the Net and is claimed to be the first exclusive electronic magazine in the city. Mumbai on the Net is a one-stop information source on the city of Bombay. It provides all kinds of information about the city, including tourism, utilities, leisure, entertainment, public services and changing information like city news. This site is sponsored by Maharashtra Tourism Development Corporation who provide all the information about tourism. This site is available absolutely free to all visitors to the site. Priya Darshini, the Model Institute of Computer Sciences has completed a decade of service in computer education and software development fields. This institute was set up in 1986. It was inaugurated by Prime Minister of India, late Sri Rajiv Gandhi. A function on its 10th anniversary was celebrated on 16th June at Hyderabad. Mr. Khan Latif Khan, chairman of Priyadarshini Education Trust, presented mementos in memory of late Srimati Indira Gandhi. Chose to distinguished guests, Professor V. Ramakistaya, Vice Chancellor of Osmania University, Dada Sahib Palke Award winner, Dr. A. Nageshwar Rao, Dr. P. V. Ranga Rao, former Education Minister, Government of AP, Mr. Ali Siddiqui, founder and organizing secretary of Priyadarshini, in his speech said, that till date, 50,000 students at various trades and faculties have been trained. Okay, CFYQT, and as usual, thank you, thank you, thank you.
for your amazing response to the quiz. The number of postcards that we have been receiving every day is really unbelievable. Thank you very much for this overwhelming response. Pen, paper, Vijayta, question. The question of this week is, unscramble the word P-E-O-C-R-U-M-T. You really want me to repeat that? Okay. Unscramble the word P-E-O-C-R-U-M-T. Your answers, written only on postcards, should reach us within seven days. Our addresses, DQTV, post box number 4441, New Delhi 110019. Once again, your answers, written only on postcards, should reach us within a week. Our address is DQTV, PO Box number 4441, New Delhi 110019. And obviously, we look forward to your comments and suggestions as well. First prize of Multitech Modem, 22nd prizes of Logitech Mice from Samtech, and 15 third prizes of Dummy Books from Comdex Computer Publishing, and 100 early bird prizes of one year subscription to DataQuest. The correct answer for episode 7 is hardware. The first prize winner is Ashish Sharma, 3 Sham Colony, Sitabari Tank Road, Jaipur. The second prize winners are as follows. Well, that brings us to the plug-out time of yet another episode of CFY, Computers for You. Do join us next week, same day, same time, same channel. Until then, goodbye. Have a great week. Bye-bye. This program was sponsored by Aptec and Oracle Software India.